بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر ویورس ان دا لاسٹ لیسن وی لرنٹ ہیو ٹو یوز ڈسپلے اسٹائل ڈائلاگ باکس آپشنز فار ماڈیفائنگ دی اپیئرنس آف اے پروٹین مالیکیول ان اے پروٹین ونڈو ان ٹوڈیز لیسن وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو چینج دی اپیئرنس آف سیکوینسز اینڈ ہاؤ کین دیٹ اپیئرنس ہیلپ اس اینالائز دا سیکوینسز and a multiple sequence alignment so let's begin first of all let's see how we can open a sequence window there are several ways through which we can bring sequences into our sequence window the first method is to open a sequence file ds visualizer can open several formats of sequences uh, for example a fasta format for this purpose First of all go to file menu click open go to the location where your sequence is saved choose the file and click open there we go our sequence is opened in a sequence window now in the second method we open a blank protein sequence window from the file menu here is how to open a blank window here we go suppose you already have copied a sequence For example, I have already copied a multiple sequence alignment and now I am going to paste it here. There you go. And my third method, I show you how to create a sequence manually in a sequence window. Let's suppose we open a nucleotide sequence window. Now let's type a nucleotide sequence in this window. Let's type a second and then a third nucleotide sequences for the purpose of alignment. In our fourth method, we can extract the sequence from an already opened molecule structure. To do so, let's first open a protein structure. Here you type PDB ID, select PDB from here and go. Now go to sequence menu, click on show sequence. Here is our extracted sequence. As this was a multi-chain protein, therefore uh, you are seeing four chains of sequences. So these were uh, some of the methods which we can use to open a sequence window. Now let's open the display style dialog box for this sequence window. Here we have two main tabs, a general tab and a color scheme tab. In the general tab, we have three portions, alignment layout, ruler and font. In the first portion, we have four options, extended, fit to screen, fit to width and chain view. First, let's select extended option. This will put all your sequence in a single line. This fit to screen option will fit the sequence to the width of your entire window. The wider the window or the smaller the letters, the more letters will be accommodated in single line. Once the sequence reaches to the border of the current line, current window, it then goes to the second line. and so on until the whole sequence is displayed this option that is fit to width it has the flexibility of number of residues you want to display per line the default value is 20 residues per line suppose i want to show 60 residues per line so there we go the chain view option will show you all the chains of a given protein separately if the structure has multiple chains the chain view will have no effect on a single chain sequence as this protein has four chains so you can see them separately the font window has two options the first option changes the font style while the second one changes the size of the text let's increase the size of text so it can be visible clearly
Now let's change the text style. Let's reset all the things to the factory settings from here. The ruler window has these options. It affects the display of the ruler. By selecting this option, the ruler is disappeared. The alignment in box will show you the sequence in a box. If the show number box is checked, the residue numbers will also be visible. The residue ID option will show you the residue number of all the residues. Consensus ID will not work on a single sequence. It only works when you have alignment of sequences. Now let's go to the color scheme tab. Here we have two main options, the background and foreground. Background will change the appearance of the background of the text, while the foreground will change the color of the text. Let's choose background first. As all the options here are for alignment sequences, therefore they will not work on a single sequence. Let's choose the custom option first. Click here to select a color for the background. So there we go. We have the background with a changed color now. The next option will color the text based on the color of the carbon alpha atoms. As all of them are carbons, therefore all are in gray color. This option will color the sequence based on the secondary structure of the protein 3D structure. You can use this option to analyze the sequence for secondary structures in your sequences. The red color here shows the alpha helices. Now let's go to a multiple sequence alignment window. Open the display style dialog box. Let's increase the size for the visibility purpose. We just showed you the function of all these options. Now let's learn the use of color scheme for alignment. This will be of great help in analyzing the multiple sequence alignment. The first option, aligned charge similarity will give the colors on the basis of similarity and charge basis. Negatively charged residues will be colored pink, positively charged residues will be colored as blue, and neutral will be colored as green, while those not matching will remain colorless. You can also change the colors for negative, positive, and neutral atoms from this option. This is the percentage based on which you gave the colors. If it is 100%, then the aligned residues will only be colored if all of them have the same properties. For example, all of them are negative, then they will be colored as pink. Here you can see all those columns have been colored green where all the sequences have neutral residues at that place. These are all positively charged residues. The rest have no matching in charge. If you select this option, then columns having all the residues of hydrophobic properties, they will be colored yellow. Blue colored columns will mean all the residues in that columns are hydrophilic, while green means neutral. Colorless means that there is no match among the residues in that column. This column is yellow. It means all of them are hydrophobic residues in this column. These are all hydrophilic. This option will color only those residues which match the first sequence in the sequence alignment file. If the residue is identical to the first sequence residue, that will be colored as blue. Otherwise, it will remain colorless.
This will color based on frequency of residues matching. If 100% match is found, that column is colored blue. If only 50% of the sequences have identical residues, that column is colored as dark gray. 0% matching will be colored light gray. This option will color the columns based on secondary structure similarity. This will color it based on sequence similarity. The acidic residues will be colored as red, the basic residues will be colored as blue and neutral ones will be colored as light yellow. This will color it based on alpha helices. The foreground option will only change the color of the text, not of the background. Let's check it. The third tab is of consensus. If you check show consensus, the consensus sequence will disappear. This is the cutoff percentage. The default here is 51% means if 51% of sequences have identical residues, then that residue will be considered as consensus. 66% means that one third of the sequences, if have identical residues, then that residue is taken as consensus. No space in consensus means removal of XX from the consensus. If you consider gaps as valid characters and uncheck no gaps, then this will remove the x-axis from here. Now let's go to DNA sequence. Open the dialog box. This will have these options in color scheme tab. Let's try these options. So this was all for today. Thanks for watching this lesson. Please don't forget to support by subscribing the channel. Also kindly like, comment and share. Thanks and bye.